And here we go. Get ready. Get ready. This is what I need to do before I did the World Tournament. Boom. Maximum stamina increase to 180. Mm. Amazing, dude. Amazing. That is the epitome of World Tournament ready. Uh, you know. Uh, oh, beautiful. So, another, oof, another five-day World Tournament. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is good, though, because I actually am starting a new job this Monday, 17th World Tournament, thanks. I'm starting a new job Monday, I've been really busy, I actually had to deal with credit card theft, I actually had to deal with getting a new car, uh, what's great is, uh, recently my parents, uh, decided, hey, you know what, why don't we get divorced, uh, because, uh, I don't feel like waiting anymore, we've been miserable this whole time, let's just get divorced now, so, yeah, it's good, you know, just been, uh, you know. Having a good old time, so let's see. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Holy shit, I just I just remembered I have Broly. Holy fuck balls, okay. Um, here we go, and we will go with the villains team. And I could take key support just to supplement the team up a bit. So let's do that, let's do launch. And then Ghost Usher just in case. And as you got it, I gotta say this right now. Let me make a mental note. I can no longer use Izanagi. Remember that. All right, just had to make that mental note. I'll probably die at some point in this world tournament just because I'll think that I can do Izanagi, but I really can't. By the way, I know I'm a, I know I'm a cunning trickster. I know I'm a hilarious guy. But uh, what I said about this week is true. It's been a, a nice, time-consuming, busy, pretty str I mean, not too stressful, but it was pretty fucking annoying this week. Um, what the fuck, dude? Are you kidding me? All right. I'm not going to defend as well as I want to, but... Fuck, it's so annoying. I hate that shit. <clears throat> no, fuck this. It's got, that, that got me tight. The fact that I can't get my setup right got me tight. I'm not going to lie. That got me fucking tight. Alright, here we go. We're going to get your bitch ass. Damn, we're going to run around, run around, run around, get your bitch ass. And then guess what? We're going to, we going to, we going to, we going to get that nigga. Um, yeah, been a retarded week. I basically started off the week great. Uh, last week, going into this week, someone decided to take my credit card, spend around $2,000 on bullshit, which is good because that's not really my money per se, because I basically took out loans for college to pay for the semester, and I have some money left over, and basically I'm planning on paying back the loan, so, you know, it's something that I have money to go towards, it's not something that, you know, I was gonna fucking, you know, buy something, and now I'm shit out of luck on that, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm out here grinding, trying to make the fuck, making a fucking living and shit, meanwhile there's fucking schemers out there stealing my money, um, also had some, you know, shit that took up time, but it wasn't any too, anything too bad. Uh, basically had to go buy a car, which is nice, because when you go to buy a car, if you don't know, everyone get, tries to trick you and scheme you, and there's, like, no, like, just an easy process of buying a car. You have to go to, like, four dealerships, because if you don't, you're not going to get a good deal. It's fucking annoying. Like, I went to one car dealership, I'm like, hey, how much would it be for this car? Uh, you know, based off the average, blah, 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 it'll be this much, and it was like some scheme fucking like $700, and I was like, nigga, do I look like I make fucking guap? Get the fuck out of here. No, I don't want no $700 a fucking month paying that shit, and they're like, uh, yeah, um, here's the thing, uh, yeah, we could put it down, maybe if you have good credit, listen, and then this is, this is what every dealership does, when you leave and you don't buy, they go, listen, you find somewhere else that has a good deal, you come back here. We'll give, we'll, we'll either match it or, or we'll give you a better deal. And, like, I, I, like I want to look at them and say, why can't you just give me a fucking good deal now? Like, why is it that I have to go find a better deal and say, hey, uh, you know I could get a better deal here? And then you go, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, now, now we'll give you a decent deal. And it's like, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Great. Fuck. Fucking key jutsu. All right, let's see. Who should I kill? I guess I, I guess I'll get rid of that guy. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. I've got Conwell in my hair. Well, excuse me. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, fuck. So I had to deal with that this week, and yeah, like I said, um, looks like my parents decided to go into a deep divorce. 
Genjutsu, which honestly I don't really, I mean, I'm, I'm old at this point, and my parents have been miserable for years, and it's, it's something that's like, you know, whatever, I kind of, I kind of wish that my parents could just like hold it out and just be miserable for the rest of their lives, just because I'm selfish, like, I don't, I don't know, I mean, I feel like I, I would be more comfortable if nothing changed, I don't like change, change is annoying, always having to deal with new shit, do you want new bullshit? It's like, yeah, you're miserable. Yeah, I'm miserable too. Let's just be miserable together. You know what I mean? You don't need a divorce. But, you know, then I start feeling bad. Let me see. What, what should I do here? Boom. Then I start feeling bad. I mean, basically the past, I don't know what, how many months, my parents are just like, yep, I don't want to talk to you. You don't got to talk to me. And they've been in a deep, I don't want to talk to you, Genju. So I'm like, yeah. Uh, what's going on? It's like, yep, I want to talk to him. That makes me mad. Well, I want to talk to him. I'll talk to you. And so both of them are like, yo, can you tell that nigga I need some money? Yo, tell that man I need this. Yo, tell your mother. I need that. Yo, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, sure, sure. Why? I'm like, one second. Let me just call the bank real quick. Yeah, someone stole money from me. Uh, can I get that back? And by the way, shout out to uh, anybody that has TD Bank. I just want to say, great bank. Really good. I told them that someone schemed me for around 2K. They sent me a letter saying that it wasn't fraud and for me to go fuck myself. So, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Ended up having to call these people and be like, yo, real rap. If I don't get my money B, if I don't have my paper, I'm probably going to do nothing because I'm really, I'm a weak-willed individual. And then they're like, all right, listen. You sound like a bitch. I feel bad for you. And I'm like, listen, that, that is true. By the way, it's just dawning on me. I should have brought Poirs. I always fucking forget that shit. Shit. Um, but yeah, so... It's been a pretty busy week. It's been kind of a shitty week. Uh, I don't know. I mean, at the same time, it, it, as shitty as it may seem, um, I've also... I don't know why I just did that. Uh, I've also... Uh, basically been playing Smash Brothers with my friends almost every week, so that's a positive. I mean, that's, you know... You can't, you can't look at that and say that's bad. I mean, come on. That's that's some good shit. How can I fucking position this to get a fucking good soup? Oh, oh wait. Okay, yeah, I gotta wait. Here, boom. Right there. And, oh, fuck. That made, did that make things worse? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, five plus three is eight. So I need four. So let's see. Let's do that. Maybe we'll go four from this and we won't need to use the fruit of the tree. Might. If so, I'll use it. So that's four plus three. Fuck. One, two, three, four plus three. Seven, okay, that's enough, that is enough, that is enough, boom, uh, yeah, I've been playing Smash with my friends, which is fun, honestly, Smash Brothers is probably one of the, like, best games ever, just because of the fact that you can play it by yourself and have a little bit of fun, it's pretty fun by yourself, like, playing online, uh, but it's super fun with friends, I mean, even if I were to get sick of it playing with friends, I, th I got that shit on 3DS, and I play it from time to time, it it's really fun, it's a pretty good game. And I've definitely gotten better over the years, because when I first started playing Smash, I was like a super chad, shitty, like, chatty mook. All I would do was just do the B buttons, and I'd be shit. But then eventually I kind of got used to it, like, yeah, you need to use your A attack, you need to use blocking, you need to dodge. Now I'm nice, bro. Now I'm out there playing Ganondorf, Charizard, hit that nigga off the station, dunk. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you gotta live your life. Wheeling and dealing like fucking Ric Flair. Ugh. But, uh... There we go, cool, and uh, everything looks like it's on the up and up, uh, pretty much this is just the, the few days of quiet before the storm, I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say I'm worried, but it'd be a lie to say that I'm not really thinking about uh, my uh, new job and the new prospects of working, and the whole thing of just because you did well in the past doesn't mean you're going to do well now, and... You know, the whole idea that maybe, just maybe, I'm going to go there and take L's and I really should watch out and make sure that I don't become an L king because, you know, as, as low self-esteem as it sounds, you know, just because you do well in college doesn't mean you're going to come out and do well in a job. Same thing goes for, like, when you're in high school and do well. And then you go to, where's shoe? There's shoe. Where's poor? Poor, poor, poor. There you go. Uh, when you go from high school to college, like, you're not always going to do good. As a matter of fact, I remember in, in college, my first semester, um, I actually did really bad in one class because I was very arrogant. Uh, yeah, you know, to, to be honest, I was pretty arrogant. I, I basically, 
didn't assimilate with the new way of writing, the new way of college writing. Like, when you go to college, what you write has literally nothing, no one cares what the fuck you know. It's pretty much everything you write is like a mini thesis paper in the sense that you need to verify everything you say and pretty much based off of what you're reading just reiterate whatever you read i mean honestly once i got kind of like the formula of writing college essays down i was a nice guy like literally all my writing classes they've always liked me i've always gotten an a i've always had these people come up to me and be like yo what's your major what's your major and then when i tell them computer science they want to kick me in the face because they're tight that i'm not a historian or fucking pre-law or whatever um, but the first semester I remember for English, I basically lost my fucking mind and like would just write whatever came to mind for papers and I really didn't think about it properly. And I think I got a D in that class and you're supposed to get at least a C. And I, I'm happy I got a D in the, in the, um, in the way that I look at it now just because of the fact I was able to go back and actually be humbled, stop being an arrogant fuckboy just because I did well in high school doesn't mean I'm gonna do well in college. And basically kind of learn to write a paper the proper uh, way, at least in college. Because I remember, for example, like say I get a paper for, I don't know, write a paper about Martin Luther King. I would write a paper about Martin Luther King and bring up all these legal things, bring up like civil rights movement, you know, the Montgomery bus boycott, blah, blah, blah. But say, you know, it, the paper was about, oh, okay, here we go, King's letter from the Alabama prison. Uh, I would bring up a lot of things, but I wouldn't mention certain things he wrote. It's very good in a college essay for the most part to really reiterate whatever you read, put it in your own words, use quotes, and, and basically just work around what was said. If it, it doesn't matter. Like, if someone says something retarded and you read it, just go with the flow. Like, you don't know how many papers I've written where I disagreed with the person writing it, but just because of the fact that th there's so many quotes and there's so much to back it up and so much support, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. I remember one time I was writing a paper... And I had my blood boiling about how the Supreme Court, like, is basically, it, it basically was roasting the Supreme Court saying, you know, the Supreme Court has all this political power and this legal power and it's made up by nine men uh, who, you know, you know, hit the gavel and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, this is the dumbest shit I ever read in my life. Here we go. Yes, the Supreme Court, blah, blah, blah. And I just basically, it was one paragraph point about how the Supreme Court is too localized and should be like, I don't know more distributed to some degree you know basically if i could give you a tip for college especially for writing essays don't ever think like it, it takes no thinking like you don't think you just do what you heard you don't think about whatever you know whatever the topic is you don't have to think about it formulize your own point and then you know support it you basically just Look at the text, see what they're doing, find three points, because that's like almost every essay. You do the intro, you do one point, two point, three point, then in the conclusion, what I like to do, you just basically do like three sentences, like reiterating what you already said, and then you do like two sentences with the conclusion, and you're like, boom, 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 look at that, we're done, we're done, we're done with this essay. And I swear to God, dude, every single essay I ever wrote has, follows the same formula where... I start off intro, ba -ba -da -ba -da. in the intro you don't use any quotes usually um, for the most part and then what ends up happening is that for the first point you usually have like two quotes in there. Basically try to have like eight sentences for paragraph, the first opening sentence, then you have some sentence, blah blah blah, here's, it's supported by this asshole who wrote this, oh uh, here you go, here's that, here's, blah, 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 blah. okay let's see, six. Let's do poor. After I do poor, should I do damage down? Should I do damage down? Should I do damage down? I'm gonna do damage down just in case. All right, and boop. Ba -ba -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Nice. Didn't even get an ultimate. That's good. Boom. And just pretty much find your own flaw. Cause I, I talked to like a lot of people who do math or science majors. Sometimes the English can put them in the realm. Which I don't know if that was the case for me. I was always just good at English and I never really thought about anything so when I went to college I think the problem was is that I didn't bother trying to learn through the process but at the same time you know I was retarded but so was my professor I remember that professor like she really graded really hard and she was kind of a shit teacher and I remember that after that she stopped being a professor she was just like an assistant aide for other professors 
And I was like, fucking A, this bitch can't teach. I'm too dumb to learn on my own. And it's a fucking match made in heaven. But for the most part, you know, I, honestly, I, I've learned more from failure than I've learned from success. I mean, with like with that English class, it was something that humbled me. And it was also something that's like, you know, you need to take your time to study. You don't need to be a fucking hot shot, amazing writer. But at the same time, you need to make sure that you, you know, take the steps necessary in order to actually be a good writer. But that's about it. School's over. Like I said. A new adventure begins. Hopefully I'll do alright at my job. Hopefully I won't get fucking nuked. Because I looked into, you know, just the basic info. They're like, yep, got to do some tests. Got to do some tests. I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh, what if I fail? What happens if I fail? But it's alright. Worst case scenario, I'll just fucking, I don't know. I'll just go to sleep and not wake up. Solid plan.